Okay guys, here we are today again out in the Bendigo whip sticks um, with the ATX, about to uh, get going with him. He's already done his pre-tune for frequency. As you can see, it's not liking me today. We'll just do a quick ground balance with it. Now, and away we go. Okay, guys, just got another target here. Now, I reckon it's a bit of wide, but I just want to show you guys just what it sounds like. It's got that nice, jumpy sort of uh, tone to it. If we do our iron check. Let's get that jump about it. Let's have a look and see what it is. There it is. Oh, bought casing. Look at that. See, it's got that long part about it. That was that uh, jumpy sort of tone coming through. There it is. Excellent. There's another one of these targets. Nice, it's got a jumpy sort of go about it. Almost certain to be a piece of wire. Iron check it. Certainly jumpy. Let's have a look, I reckon I can see it. There it is, a bit of surface lead. Good sign that we find lead. Make sure there's no other stuff on the ground there. There's another one. Look at that. Two in a row. Surface lead. Now, the 5000 that have been through here, or in fact any other detectors that have been through here, they would have found them. Just goes to show guys, you come into these spots, you've got a real good chance of finding a gold if you can find lead. Back to it. Here we go guys. Another bit of lead. A bit deeper this time. Came through with a nice little signal. Gave it that check and look at that. Another bit of lead. Alright, next one's going to be yellow. Here we go, another nice signal there. is strong too. Another one just out in front of it as well by the sounds of it. Waiting to get fixed for that one. Okay guys, just want to show you this one. Um, coming up fairly deep at the moment. Certainly has got that nice tone about it with the um either a nice little bit of lead or a nice bit of gold.
quite deep. So we can fifteen, maybe fifteen centimetres there. We'll give it a measure later. But uh, there you go. That could have been a nice little chunk of gold, that. Fuck it. There we go, guys. Now we do we find the wedge, but the intact bullets as well. How cool is that little dude? Awesome. Uh, I just want to show you this one, guys. Uh, very interesting target. And listen to this. Do the iron check. Wavy little sound. There you go. Awesome. Right here, got another deep one here. Not quite there yet, but we're close enough to it. We'll just try and. Okay guys, I sound a bit puffed because I'm stuffed after digging that. There you go, pretty much the pinpoint of depth. Oh, to get that, look at that. All the way down there. Bloody hell. Oh well, it's getting good depth though. Next one's going to be gold. Awesome. Looks like we've got some uh, crappy weather coming in, so good thing we're submersible. <laughs> this is one of the places I like to detect, guys. You come into the bush <coughs> and um, you find these rock bars in the washout. Typically, like you do when you're sluicing and panning, you get in behind them, have a look see around. Just never know. But uh, yeah. Someone's been here having a bit of a coin out, but uh, we'll give it a crack so we can bring it out. Okay. okay guys, this is the rain stars before. We've got a nice little target here in the ironstone outcrop. So we'll see what it is, eh? Ah, well that's rubbish. Yay! See you there guys. That first cool find for the day. A nice old thimble. There you go. Unfortunately it's fighting, but hey, I'm happy with that. Beat all the lead that I found, and trust me, I found a crap load. Excellent. 